There was a time when many thought that Teresa Edwards, perhaps the greatest women's basketball player of all time, might not ever be inducted into a Hall of Fame. Why is this? Well, she wouldn't retire. From a standout prep career in the South Georgia town of Cairo to four glorious years at the University of Georgia, and then as the leader of the U.S. national team for nearly two decades, Edwards paved the way for today's stars by taking the game to another level. The thing that you do say about Teresa Edwards is that she quite possibly is the greatest competitor to ever lace up a pair of high tops. Therese Edwards isn't the best shooter that I've ever coached or the best ball handler. She may not be the best basketball player that I've ever coached, but she's the greatest competitor that's ever laced them up. And if you choose a team today of all the players that have ever played college basketball anywhere, she might be the first person picked by any knowledgeable basketball coach because you can't beat her. Edwards was the cornerstone of a juggernaut that established Georgia as one of the premier women's basketball programs in the nation. The Lady Bulldogs raced to a remarkable 116 and 17 record during her four years, including a Final Four appearance in 1983 and the NCAA runner-up finish in 1985. At the same time, Edwards began establishing herself on the world stage. She burst onto the international scene when she secured a spot on the U.S. Olympic team for the 1984 Los Angeles Games following her sophomore season in Athens. She went on to become the first basketball player, male or female, to represent the United States in five Olympics. Most notably, Edwards led the U.S. to the gold medal at the 1996 Centennial Games in Atlanta after being chosen to represent all competitors in reading the athlete's oath during the opening ceremony. Often referred to as the Wilma Rudolph of women's basketball, Teresa Edwards will forever be an icon of her sport.